So let's make a pathology request for this test patient, Minnie Mouse. So we click on the blue icon on the toolbar, then click on Hillenden Pathology Lab because we're in Elin GP practice. Then we make the request. So in this case, we're doing her cholesterol because she really needs a cholesterol test. That's because she eats an awful lot of cheese. Okay, so we've made the request. We need to just put in the username. Okay, and then on the right hand side, this is really important. So we click on, I want to fill out specimen details later. The reason we're doing this is that she's not coming for the blood test right now. She's gonna come and book it in a, a week or so. So that's what we do. We click it that we wanna do it later and then we accept the request. And that is done. So if we look at the notes again, so at the bottom here, you can see pathology, um, waiting sample, and that's the lipid profile. So if we click on this um, and we do um, update request, this gives us an option of, if we click on the first one, you can delete the request if you want to. So that's, um, or we edit it. So that's the options of updating it. And press cancel again but actually when when she attends for the blood test we right click on it and we say take sample so when we take sample and we click on the test that we want to take the sample for so that's the cholesterol test and then on the right hand side we either say um, if we think it's going to be a bit later we collect later or if we think we're going to take the sample right now we can click collect now that will make sure it puts the correct date and time that we we taking the sample if you can say collect now because it uses the current date and time and here we go and then it gives us the option to print it out always worth remembering you have the option to print to pdf that could be useful if you ever having to send forms or create forms to send elsewhere and there we have it so the form is done and now if we go back to update request and again we click on it um, you have options here again that you see um, and then you can also um, if you try to click take sample again it won't let you because it knows that you've actually created the sample again so there we have it i hope that was helpful